guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about some stuff to do with Episode 10, so the mid-season premiere of The Flash, which is happening on February 4th. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so before we start the video, guys, send in some Q&A questions, because we're going to be doing a Q&A video later this week. I think it's a good idea considering there's not that much going on in terms of news. This is some news that I missed out recently that we need to catch up on. But send in those Q&A questions. It can be about anything that you guys want. I think that will be a very interesting thing to do because I haven't done a Q&A video in quite a long time. So yeah, send in those. Alright, so in today's video we're going to talk about this TV line article that was released I believe about a week ago. And we got our first look at episode 10, so the mid-season premiere of The Flash, which is now officially titled Marathon, and we all theorize about that in a second. But anyway, so we get our first look at The Flash in episode 10, and it's of Iris. And so this is a preview article that TV Line has put up. And so what we see in this photo is Iris, she's in Star Labs, she's been injured, she's got some sort of bandage on her arm, she's in the Star Labs get up. She's like drinking some water and she's definitely on the medical sort of bed that they always go on when say Barry gets injured or someone else gets injured. You can see all the screens behind and the environment means that yeah she's got into some trouble and she obviously needed to be here and it seems like she's getting better. But the big thing that I took away from this straight away is obviously we knew this was going to happen but still Iris is alive. Iris isn't dead. And I know it's a no-brainer that, you know, The Flash and everyone and, you know, some of these Earths are going to return after Crisis. But currently, right now, where we're at in Crisis, Iris has just died. All the Earths have been destroyed. And this obviously confirms, which is, like I said, a no-brainer. But it's a thing that has to be pointed out that Iris is alive and she's all fine. I don't know if this is going to be, like, the same version of Iris. Or is she going to be changed somehow due to the events of Crisis? We don't know, and that's sort of going to be figured out as we go into this premiere episode when we return. And obviously, Crisis is definitely going to affect them, and we'll see what the repercussions are and if there's anything in Iris. But yeah, Iris is alive, and so that's about all we can break down in the photo. There's not too much to actually talk about in regards to that, but there has been an interview that is on TV Line's website as well, but also the title. So let's talk about the title for episode 10 straight away okay so it's titled marathon this is episode 10 of season 6 what does marathon mean well obviously you guys know what a marathon is it's a run it's a long distance running competition essentially and so obviously the flash is all about running so it's obviously in relation to the flash and running but what is the long marathon? What is the long run that this title refers to? It could be related to Iris, because this is obviously focused on Iris, this article. So maybe she does play a big role in this. Maybe she has some sort of marathon, some sort of thing to get round. Or it's in regards to after crisis, the marathon to get him back to normal. Maybe that is what the title is referring to. I would say that's probably... A greater chance to be in relation to crisis because this is literally the episode after crisis we've got the arrow episode and the legends episode and then we're back with the flash about three weeks later i think because we return with crisis on the 14th of january and then we've got the flash coming back on the 4th of february so some stuff's gonna go down and maybe this is what marathon is actually in regards to Okay, so let's go through the article and talk about some of the quotes from the showrunner Eric Wallace, but also they've got a little bit of a description as in regards to what's happening with Iris here. So, the image that was shown is from The Flash's mid-season premiere titled Marathon, which will air Tuesday, February 4th. In it, Iris is seen laid up in a Star Labs medical bay, her right arm wrapped tightly in bandaging. She is lucid, though her face filled with a fiery resolve. One might even observe. So the superhero series' is leading lady isn't too bad off. That description was really hard to read. I don't know why. But whatever, let's continue. Okay, so perhaps Team Citizen, as it's been dubbed, got burned by chasing too hot a story. And The Flash's showrunner Eric Wallace did tell TV Line that Iris would be getting 
involved, and this is in quotations, involved in a very deep mystery that plays quite large in regards to what's happening with our big bads and whatnot. Okay, so that's massive. What he just said there, he goes, involved in a very deep mystery that plays quite large in regards to what's happening with our big bads. Big bads with an S. So, is he confirming there's going to be multiple big bads? I don't know if this is a new interview or not. However, it could be in regards to the two big bads this season, that being Bloodwork and this new one that we're getting in the back half of the season. So if this was an interview, say, back in September or back in the summer, maybe at Comic Con or something, that would obviously make sense. But if this is a new interview and he's saying big bads and whatnot, obviously he's not specifically saying one person or not or like a group of people, but he's saying it with an S at the end. So. Therefore, we can infer if this is a new interview, they are planning to do multiple big bads. So, is this going to be related to the Black Hole organization that we've been talking about and theorizing because they popped up, I think, like two or three times at some of these events? We've seen lots of photos and they've been pulling the strings of Ultraviolet and a few other things. And we, as fans, have been theorizing that maybe the Godspeed stuff that happened in episode one may link back to. The black hole organization because it does in the comics there is a heavy link between godspeed and the black hole organization and we were left with that sort of cliffhanger of why are there these godspeed clones at the start of the season and it hasn't been answered yet and then we start getting the black hole stuff in the background and obviously it's going to come to some sort of fruition in the back half of the season so are we going to see godspeed return is that going to be happening so what do you guys think about that when he says big bads and whatnot do you think that he's referring to more than one big bad maybe like an organization like what's happening on supergirl right now with like leviathan i don't know but anyway let's continue with this article and so season six's early episodes did hint at a mystery organization that is hiring metahumans including citizen intern allegra's cousin aka ultraviolet as assassins so that's what i talked about that is black hole okay team citizen and i quote will be getting into trouble wallace affirmed especially in the back half of our season as for what the flash's season 6b will be like as a whole in the wake of the crisis on infinite earth crossover which concludes with arrow and legends wallace has said when you watch the crossover, you're going to feel those tectonic shifts, especially at the end. It's not small, it's a game changer in the same way that the ending of Crisis, the comic book, was a game changer and it opens up to a whole new world. Okay, so let's break this down. That's quite a big chunk of information that he's dropped on us. So yeah, Team Citizen, they're going to be a thing. Right now, they're kind of just backgrounds. They've done a few things, you know, they've shined in a few episodes, but apart from that, they haven't been in the forefront, and I don't believe they're going to be in the forefront in the back half, even if there's this stuff, because it's always about the Flash. Okay, so he says they're going to get in trouble, so they're obviously going to be following some leads in regards to Black Hole, because that was set up at the end of the last part of this season, and so apparently in the back half, it's going to be a little bit more. Okay, so in regards to Crisis, Apparently, you're going to feel the effect of these tectonic shifts, especially once it ends, obviously, and then you'll see the differences, and like I mentioned earlier, maybe the dynamics will be changed between all of our characters. We don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to have to wait and see, because the crossover is going to change things. It's a game changer, as Eric says, and in the same way that the ending of the Crisis comic book was a game changer, it opens up to a whole new world for our TV shows so it's going to literally be a whole new world like how are they going to get the earths back and are everyone going to be the same what is going to be the ending of crisis that will affect our shows moving forward that is a big question so that is about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it please be sure to subscribe turn on notifications as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers finally like we are so goddamn close we need like 200 subs to get to 100,000. We are so freaking close. So share the video around, share the channel around. It would really mean the most to me if we could try and reach it before the end of the year. So anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.